All right, uh, today the feature I'm gonna go over is user interface. This is Meerkat with absolutely no panes whatsoever turned on. And this monstrosity is Meerkat with every single pane turned on. Okay, let's go over the two ways there are to modify panes. First, in the panes uh, menu bar, we can de-check items. So if we wanted to say get rid of the devices pane, we de-check the devices pane and it is now closed. The second notable way is if we remove lock panes, we now have menu bar items for everything. So if I wanted to say get rid of my ribbon bar, I would go ahead and hit the X here and it would close down the ribbon bar that way. Now, if I want to open panes back up, I would go back to pane and say I want to reopen my devices pane. I would recheck the devices and you can see that it now has a checkbox and the device pane is now back. In addition to opening and closing the panes, we can move them around and dock the panes where we need to put them. So for example, jog has a large number of jog items. So if I put it here, you can see that it selects a little bit of a blue highlight and wants to put the jog pane where I'm setting it. So if I go here, then I put transform, I can put short pulse, and drag and move and then you can mount them all that way so you can pick them up and if they're and if you say set them in sort of the center of the scene they will float and you can move them outside the, your window you can put them wherever you need to the end result is that your interface is highly configurable and you can change it in any way that you see fit and need to the changes you make to the user interface will persist between different sessions of Meerkat. Also, because of the highly extensible nature of panes, they won't always be enabled for a new version. So if you had a previous configuration, it will save your configuration and will not include additional panes, such as uh, modification and alignment, which were recently added in 0 0.7.3. Okay, let me quickly go over how I set up my interface. So I'm going to go ahead and close down uh, position. I don't use spooler any. I do use jog, but I place it over here. And let's go ahead and close down uh, pulse drag here. I don't need my home because I have one here. And then I place it right inside here so that it doesn't interfere with the other buttons. And I have uh, my console and I get rid of the little title bar menu bar things on all the panes by going ahead and locking the panes again. Now the importance is of this is when you have uh, that your panes set up as you like and you type set, it will list all of your settings that you currently have, uh, including perspective, which is the string that it uses to save the arrangement of the panes. So what this string is, is the settings you have for your user interface, which means that if you design a much better or a much more intuitive user interface uh, by arranging your panes, you can post this uh, to me and I might be able to use it as the default. The default uh, panes, we can see by going to panes and reset panes. This is the default that Meerkat has. This is not designed for optimum usability. It's simply the collection of panes that uh, most mimicked the panes that we had at 0.6.x. So there are a number of open questions as to what the best user interface is for the most people. And so far the team has simply been dropping additional panes into the items. For example, there's a go button. This button is actually insanely useful. Uh, it's a one touch send job to laser. So you hit go and it sends a job to the laser without you having to hit any more buttons. Because if you're fairly sure it will do a reasonable job with your settings, uh, there's no point in clicking more than once. We also later added in the toolbars. These toolbars duplicate what's in the ribbon bar by design. 
there's still an open question as to which ones would be best and which ones people would want. So they're broken up and used individually and they can be used as a replacement to the ribbon bar. And this is usually the way that I run my Meerkat. The one notable change here is that the camera uh, now requires that you click a button in the new toolbar, whereas in ribbon bar, you could optionally select a camera, but the main button would run the camera that it ran last time. So much of our work went into preserving what it ran previously rather than uh, designing something uh, new and improved for various users. Uh, so let me go over several of these panes that are extremely useful. For example, there is a camera pane. So if we go to say camera one, this will uh, operate the camera. And so when we double click, we uh, get the camera window updated. This allows us to uh, update our camera. We can also uh, do several operations here. So we can do the aspect, we can correct the perspective, etc. So as a mini little camera window, uh, this is highly useful and can be mounted in various places. Uh, I didn't previously have the camera add-on turned on. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, insanely useful, as is the go button, as previously noted. Most of the remaining cam uh, pane windows uh, duplicate functionality that you should already have seen in the uh, various windows. All right, uh, that should cover everything about panes for the most part, uh, how to open them, how to close them how to move them around and adjust them as needed. And uh, thanks for watching.